Okay, you guys. I said I was going to build a teardrop camper, and I just picked this up for a hundred bucks. It's a real small little motorcycle trailer, and I'm going to take my cutting grinder, and I'm going to cut that post off there, right there. That's going to get cut off, and I'm taking the sidewalls off the rail. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a plywood floor on this. Just like I did my other camper with a little overhang over the wheels and I'm going to build a little teardrop on here for just two people to sleep in. Um, it looks rough now because I just wire brushed it down with my drill and got all the paint and the crud off of it and it's going to get painted after it's completely sanded down. I want to make sure that the frame is real good before I build on it. Alright you guys, well I got that steel off, I cut it off and I grinded and sanded the trailer down and I have it upside down so I can paint the underside of it so I don't miss anywhere and uh, I want to make sure this is going to get done right I'm ordering uh, new tires and rims for it same size hope you guys dig it all right you guys I thought I'd show you how far I got so far boy I'll tell you what it's a pain doing this by yourself but uh, I got my teardrop started. I'll give you a look at it. I'll step back so you can see the shape of it. It's going to just be a little micro sleeper. And the door is going to go right here, right there. And then over here will be a window. And then there will be one on the other side. So the windows are opposite one another. It's seven feet long and four foot five inches wide up here on the roof I've already got these uh, 14 inches apart and then I'll be, be running uh, rungs along here this way two of them so it's 14 by 14 for my hatch that I got coming that's how we're building it's gonna be a cute little teardrop camper that I can pull with my can or with my car it's gonna be super light and it's just going to be a micro sleeper camper. I've been doing the rungs across the top and I got to come all the way down the side, you know, all the way up and over and around. And then there will be Luan on both sides, outside and inside, with insulation in between. It's a foam insulation, so it's like black form. It lays nice and flat and it's the same thickness after you put it in between the rungs, uh, which insulates it like a cooler, which is how I did my other camper. I rounded the back corners off. And then once I drew my mark, my line where I wanted that, uh, how I wanted to taper, when I cut that piece of wood off, I went over on the other side and I traced that piece of wood. So I got two bookends of uh, walls there that match. So and what I do for these rungs here, I wanted to show you this, is I, I notch this out. I take, a, I take a piece of wood and I just put it against here flush and then I trace it and then I cut it out with my jigsaw and then after I do that I fill it with liquid nails and then put L brackets in there and then of course when the, when the roof is going this way it'll be you know screwed in too and then the, the skins the metal skins will be over it so nice and strong it's only four foot tall from the bottom to there it's the width of a whole sheet of plywood so I wanted to keep it low so when you walk up to it see over the roof and I went all with three-quarter three-quarter wood I've been putting a, the Luan on it all the way across and I'm using I'm using straps to pull it down to contour it so you can see it contours with the camper and you can see here I'm getting it nice and flush nice and flush all the way down have a look on the inside. Look at these runs here. That's a look on the inside in here. I got the door to the camper. And yes, the color is slightly different. I don't know if you'd say slightly, but it's a different color than the siding, which is all right. There's the window that I've got from the other camper build. I painted the frame all black, gloss black, to match the trim of the door. There's a look at the inside of the door the teardrop you can see my tarp blowing over the roof I got to finish the Luan up there 
and then I can uh, start working on the inside once I get the outside done. I can get this insulated and uh, get the Luan up and uh, get this all finished off. So there you go, you guys. That's where I'm at so far. Okay, you guys, I uh, changed my mind, which I'm known to do quite frequently. But that window that I showed you guys, I ended up putting it there in the side. Um, just because I'm thinking maybe I'm not going to need a window in the back. When I have two windows on either side, I mean, I'm going to have, because the back is right there, I'm going to have plenty of light because I'm also going to have the roof hatch that's going to be going right there. So I'm going to have plenty of light. That's how the teardrop's coming along. Pretty soon I'll have the roof done and uh, the other window in on the other side, the hatch in. The wheels and the rims came. So, got brand new rubber on the camper. I got the hatch installed. That turned out nice. And I'll tell you what, with the ventilation and everything, uh, I don't need any more windows than what I've got. And I also installed a, a porch light on the outside. And I got the lights on it. It's all wired. It's got the little side marker lights. That's all she's coming. Just waiting on the other panel to finish off right down the front right there. Looking forward to getting it done. Hope you guys like it so far. That's how it's looking. Well, let's see what you guys think. Got the camo curtains in there. How cool are those? Let's look at the hatch. See that? That's in a lot of nice ventilation. So, got the bed riser and I got lots of storage underneath she's done on the outside except for the channel stripping that's how it's gonna look you guys just insulating it just like a cooler thanks for watching you guys I got her insulated I got my my foam cover for the hatch for on those cold nights so I'll let you guys go so there you go you guys just thought I would do a video real quick to show you what the graphics look like on it I think it's pretty cool thanks for watching you guys